Is the meat at Costco really so mysterious that people believe multiple myths about it? According to one self-reported longtime employee, falsehoods abound. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet. So much, in fact, that debunking these myths is a full-time profession for many people. NASA has had to take time out of exploring the universe to point out that it's not really possible to see the Great Wall of China from space. And the History Channel had to take time out to assure everyone that Vikings almost certainly didn't wear helmets with horns on them. I don't know what to believe. The glut of misinformation can even apply to meat at your local big box store. A Redditor claiming to have worked in Costco's meat department for 15 years and to now be a supervisor set up an Ask Me Anything on the r slash Costco subreddit in which they tried to expose some of the major myths about the meat sold at Costco. One myth the poster slapped down is that you should always buy meat with the latest expiration date, saying that doing so just creates food waste. According to the USDA, any properly handled food used prior to the best if used by slash before date should taste good and be safe to eat whether or not it's the freshest cut. The AMA also simply explained a few things about how Costco's meat department operates. For example, the poster confirmed that Costco blade tenderizes its meat because blade tenderizing definitely adds tenderness. They also said that Costco has an agreement with the USDA to clean the tenderizer to remove bacteria every four hours. This is good news for carnivores who have concerns that mechanical tenderizing can cause contamination and illness. The Redditor also posted this helpful bit of seafood advice. No fish is sushi grade unless otherwise advertised as so. And before approaching the meat counter, the poster advises that customers should know that asking for special grinds, cuts, or packaging is a non-starter. The meat counter isn't the only place where Costco myths abound, of course. One long-standing Costco belief is that everything can be returned. Sadly, this is not the case. Those who enjoy the wide selection of alcohol that Costco offers should know that it's nearly impossible to return bottles of booze or packages of cigarettes. Many on Reddit claim they've seen customers bring alcohol back, sometimes with just three inches left in the bottle. But don't expect that to be a normal occurrence. Another myth lots of shoppers seem to believe is that the Costco employees who check receipts at the door are trying to catch thieves. Adam Probolsky, a columnist for the Orange County Register, said he even refused to show his receipt, claiming that it infringed on his freedom. He wrote, Costco's policy of checking your receipt before you leave is, to me, unacceptable, and therefore I will not adhere to it. As it turns out, checking receipts at the door has nothing to do with someone's honesty as a customer. Multiple former Costco employees have confirmed, on Reddit and elsewhere, that the receipt checks are meant to make sure customers weren't accidentally charged twice for something. It has almost nothing to do with stopping shoplifting. One former employee made clear that Costco has a loss prevention team and they don't work at the door. YouTuber and Costco employee Paige Saunders stated, but we weren't scanning receipts, we're mostly looking for double scans. Another former Costco employee told The Sun, The scanners are so sensitive that it's really easy to accidentally scan something twice and not notice. The former employee claimed that he caught more than $1,000 in double charges on customer receipts and was able to have that money promptly returned to shoppers.